First off, I don't know if I'm posting this, probably not, so, but if I do, I apologize for the music I'm not putting my headphones on, so, but, so I just took off all the markers for the Germans and the Austrians, the Austro-Hungarians, and, um, um, yeah, no, it's just chatting, of course, the piece of music just ended, but, um, it's just kind of like, I guess, a bit of a report card or whatever, uh, looking at it that way for uh, what's been going on. Uh, well, the Austro-Hungarians, what can I say? Um, a plus. Uh, we're, let's not even go there. Maybe we can look at that bit. But I'm going to look at it here from the German perspective. The biggie thing for me is it's almost uh, just weird things, uh, like bad timing all around. Like, I mean, maybe some people would say, oh, you, you should have released um, the two divisions that are sitting here as an emergency emergency in, in, Bra in Bromberg. Maybe they could have tilted something. You could have knocked out one of the entrenched posi uh, entrenching positions here or something like that. Uh, in reality is let's, I just thinking, I, I just think, um, let's call it, let's call it what it is. Um, it, poor planning. Uh, in the long run. This should have happened earlier. Um, also, what's happening now is, uh, so what I'm saying is, at first is, if this is what the initial, okay, I, I can't, I, I don't know what it's called. Um, but anyways, um, the Germans overreacted here. Um, when the, so that was the Russian 9th, or, no, the 11th Army or something, shoot. 10th Army, Russian 10th Army, uh, I'm pretty darn sure, um, came towards here in Wuj, uh, Fug, uh, I think his uh, name was, um, got surrounded, uh, surrendered. That did work. I mean, they, uh, the Germans lost their flipping marbles. And, well, I think this was also like, secondly, the fact that the Russian 4th Army had gone into here and uh, they lost their marbles. I, okay. <laughs> I'm not uh, doing my uh, uh, my argument very much uh, uh, merit here, or justice, or whatever. But what I'm trying to say is, I think it affected the Germans' decision making so much, so that they started shifting so much of their troops this way when they sh they had everything going in their favor. At one point this way, like the momentum, everything was starting to go this way in some ways. I'm going to have to go and look at, at some of the older stuff, but I'm pretty sure. Um, and they eased off, the, like they started shifting focus this way. A lot of reinforcements started going towards the south and so on and so forth. And they, you know, they pushed. I mean, remember, the 4th Army was all here, gone. Like, I mean, look where the hell they are now. Uh, that's great. And... Like I said, so in a weird way, um, militarily, you now have a lot of your strength in the spot where they wanted it. And like I said, strategically, that's where you would like it. The problem is they've yet again shifted focus and started reshifting uh, more of the troops back towards the north, saying, because this is priority one, get these Russians out of East Prussia by the end of November. Um, and also on another thing, I'm, this is neat because of the scale thing. I would also like, um, I was look, uh, reminding myself of, I know it's not the same amount of troops and so on and so forth, um, because uh, it's actually just over here, I think is the, where the hell's the map for this one for, uh, like when Meandering Mike just had in, when he was playing the introductory scenario for Tannenberg, just had like a little bit of somebody, I think around Thorn or maybe down here, um, I don't even know. It was probably just Thorn or maybe Bromberg or whatever. Just had like a, a just a tiny amount of force just to keep um, the Russians honest. Um, maybe that's all. Okay, so you have a lot of guys here. You didn't have to go mental, but they just kept went. They just kept going with it. Um, and I think that if they would have kept going with it, like that's mistake number one. And like you're stuck there now. You're not going to get these guys out of here. Um, but now mistake number two 
is now they are real you're really going to have a hard time long term i think um getting them out of there um because you you're now you could have snapped it you, like i've said before you could have broke their back here um and it's not going to happen oh my goodness me now i get to go into it's going to be the 18th to the 21st of november I get to flip on over to this side, even though I, I can't really because of the plants are so close to the window and the room is only so much so big. However, I'm starting to realize that I may start using the, I get just rid of that little bit of that couch there. I can push, I'll figure out something. But it'd be nice because it's not fair to the, when I go to do the Russians, that I don't get to see it from their point of view as much because I, I, I often, I find I miss bits um, it's scary sometimes. It's weird. Yeah, I, I just find different angle. I mentioned this a long time ago in an old video where, um, like, one side it looked pretty okay. It was like everything's going great. And then I looked on the other side and was like, oh my God, if you just see what's going on, you're going to be in deep trouble. And that was, you know, like I said, I was just using blocks and so on and so forth. So I couldn't figure out what was going on on the other side. I was also thinking on a side note about trying to figure out when, because remember, I'm doing this by myself. Um, but I do call it Solo Interactive. Tons of people have helped me out. It's not funny. And given me suggestions and said, what about this, that, and the other thing? You have no idea. Well, maybe you do. Um, is what about, for example, before I remove all the information, I'm going to roll a die six. And um, I'm going to give myself, um, and then I'll, I'll write off an encounter or whatever. And that's how many seconds. Um, I am allowed to either observe the map or record on a piece of paper or whatever. Obviously, I'm going to hope to God I, uh, I roll a die six. Then I was thinking also later on, because I just love these, the, these type of things, what about using a, a, a die roll modifier? Okay, you want to expend some supply points, aka reconnaissance kind of thing, or whatever, your like your aerial whatever's at the end. Uh, you want to get an extra 10 seconds uh, to stare at the, uh, the board to record some information. Where were the Germans really hammering it out kind of thing? Um, that type of thing. Uh, like I'm already trying to remind myself that, but it's like, you know, like where were the, sh where were the troop movements uh, quite a bit? Like there's, you know, a bit of jockeying or whatever. Um, uh, you know, that type of thing. Um, yep. Yeah. So that, that's where I'm at, really. Um, happier in hell, but now I have to. It's Monday, darn it. Um, I gotta go to the sleep, shoot some ladders. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm, I'm pretty darn happy. Okay, so we'll leave, I'm gonna leave it alone. Now. I've got nothing else to do, actually, admin-wise, for it. Uh, no, I'm completely finished. It's the Russians all the way.